Yeah, I want to go right to uh, David and Pam out on the coast. You know, David, I just passed through Vienna in Austria in uh, Europe, and I was uh, I was really surprised to tell you the truth. Even though I'm in the media, I was surprised at how big a singing sensation you are over there. I mean, it's like Elvis. It's tremendous. Uh, first of all, congratulations on that. And when are we in the United States going to see that aspect of your life? I really don't know. We are um, negotiating a deal now. We we the first album we did was called Looking for Freedom, and it was recorded uh, about uh, six months before the Berlin Wall came down, and it almost became a bit of the um, the theme song um, for the the freedom fighters over there. And um, I went on tour. It was eight weeks number one, and my second album, which is the one that you saw, went number one in Vienna last week in Austria, Switzerland, and um, and Germany. We're trying to get a deal here in the States, um, but I'm not so sure that, that the music that I'm doing over there is right for the States. It's, uh, it's more of a got the European flavor, and uh, so we may have to um, uh, color the songs and do something a little different here for the States. Do you think you're typecast as, you know, the hunk of, uh, you know, primetime sitcoms and soaps? I think, it, you know, it's difficult for actors to cross over as well as for musicians to cross over as actors, but, I, you know, you can do, there's so many people who are multi-talented. I grew up in musical comedy. I mean, my first play was Peter Pan. I had a theater in my basement and all I ever wanted to do was musical comedies. And right now I'm, I'm chasing the, uh, the powers that be for the lead in Les Miserables or Miss Saigon for the L.A. production or the film version. That's, a, that's my dream and that's what I want to do. Well, that'd be and, terrific. Uh, I bet you'd be great at it. Well, you I... also did a lot for Sharpay puppies recently. <laughs> you have a Sharpay, don't you? <laughs> now, uh, Pamela, how do you feel when uh, David did the centerfold in Cosmo magazine there, uh, draped only in a wrinkled puppy? Right, right. <laughs> well, actually, at the time, I was like six months pregnant. And, uh, <laughs> and actually, I was trying to... Th there was about, I don't know, like eight men, men. And they wouldn't let me in the room, so I'm peering through the curtain to look at him. I, it would have been a rough shoot no matter what, you know, but um, I thought he looked good. But how do you deal with the adoration that he that he gets not just in, on the whole Knight Rider Baywatch thing, but now as this, uh, this Elvis kind of crooner out in Europe with the women throwing themselves at him? How do you deal with that? Actually, it's the pros outweigh the cons by far, but um, we don't run into a lot of animosity or anything. Everybody's coming from the heart. The only time there's been some problems is sometimes a fan will get out of hand like about a week ago. He was out of town and a girl came to our gate and she started ringing. I said, hello. And she says, I'm from Germany. Let me in. I'm here to stay. And she had two bags packed. She was planning on staying with us. She she of Brigitte Nielsen. Minutes. <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so sometimes when they get out of hand and it's, uh, it's a little scary, that's the only time that it's it's hard to handle but or when we're in the middle of a kiss and somebody will come up and go excuse me i hate to bother you but you know uh but all in all it's child care reminds me that david you were not home when pamela was giving birth recently no i'm still in the doghouse for that oh, no. <laughs> yes she came five weeks early uh pamela was with me on tour um in and, Germany. In Germany and Switzerland, and uh, she went home to rest and almost had the baby on the airplane. <laughs> and I was um, about to... I was to... over Iceland, and I went into contractions, but, um... oh, oh, what's no, happening here? that really happened? <laughs> oh, Truly, yeah. and so I went to the restroom and uh, realized this was really happening, so I thought, okay, i got to be strong here. So I went to the steward, holding back tears, saying, I think I'm going to need some assistance. Is there a doctor on board? <laughs> And everybody, ah! and yeah. Next thing you know, he uh, was a pathologist, a maternity nurse, and a gynecologist. And for some Pretty reason, well stamped. Yeah. Yeah, but for some reason, <laughs> Good <airline. we> were, <laughs> yeah, did process of elimination and sent over the pathologist. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, and you held out. Enough, did you hold out for home in Los Angeles? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The good news is they would land for me. The bad news is they were going to land in Canada and leave me there. So I opted to to go, go to L.A. Well, and the ambulance was there and everything and, um, and rushed me to the hospital. David was actually on stage at the, the people moment. were chanting, David, 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 because I was late and they, they, the phone rang. and, and I was they, chanting, David, <laughs> David, <laughs> David. I'm having the baby now and you're out of here. I'm very upset. <laughs> and I went, oh my God. Picture the videotape of the announcement of the arrival when they came running up to tell David that little tail of Anne had been born. You just gone, gone. Yeah. 
We just had a baby girl. How about that? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Going to uh, David and Pamela, you know, uh, you both in the public eye, both uh, actors. Um, how did you two? Was it love at first sight in, in your situation? Where was it? Was it on one of the series? Well, actually, we met like five years ago. I did an episode of Knight Rider, but we both were involved with other people, so that never entered my mind at all. And then uh, we kept running into each other. And so we were finally single again. <laughs> yes. And so when we finally uh, ran into each other and we were both single again, we said, let's get together and talk about past relationships. But we'd sit and talk for like a few Did he really say that, Pamela? Did he say, let's get together talking about past relationships? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember his own? No, I didn't. He didn't even ask me for my phone number. I sat and talked to him for like an hour. I thought, all right, he's never going to ask me for my phone number. You know, and I had about five different girlfriends with me and they kept running up to to talk to us and I kept going, go away, go away, you know. And then I finally said, I'm going to go back to my girlfriend's. And then they, did he get asked for your phone number? And I said, no. And they said, go give him your phone number. I said, I can't do that. I can't do that. So a good while I asked every strange guy that passed by me, what would you think if a girl handed you their phone number? <laughs> did your own market <laughs> research. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I was so nervous. I really was. How did you react, David, when, when she did it? When she gave me the phone number, yeah. I said, yes, yes. Put <laughs> <laughs> right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> David and Pamela? Uh, we're the rookies. He threw me an anniversary party this last Sunday. A surprise. How about that? Happy anniversary. Me, thank you. I have a uh, question for David Hasselhoff. Considering your success in Knight Rider, uh, how has the music or singing career internationally, has it lived up to your expectations thus far? Yeah, you know, the uh, Night Rider was syndicated in 72 countries around the world, so everywhere I went, people would stop me uh, in different languages and say, Michael Knight, where I'd be in Italy, they'd say, Supercar, or Oh Just a Sierra in Portuguese, and it opened up all the doors, and the music is um, the live connection with the audience, which unfortunately we don't have over here <laughs> during this show. Um, is an amazing thing it's you know when you're doing a, a, a television series it's very long hours and your your jokes uh, wear very thin with the uh, the crew and talking and with the a, car all those hours <laughs> talking with the car yeah and the, the car was actually an actor named bill daniels but uh whoever wanted to read the, the lines of the car that day would would read it it could be the ad it could be the stage manager but when you're on stage playing to twelve thousand people and they don't speak a word of english but they know every lyric to your song in English, and it's it's an amazing feeling. And they all bring me gifts. They brought me hundreds, uh, hundreds of gifts for my baby. I, all my baby bottles are in German. Thoughts <laughs> <laughs> from our guest before I do this last question for David. I would like to ask David if he has any more action movies or TV shows coming up. Yeah, you going to be a Night Rider too, or yeah? Or as a matter of fact, that you know, they the, the were bringing back Night Rider for a two-hour special where Michael oh, Knight right. goes into the future, and Baywatch was actually canceled by NBC. But because of how popular it is around the world and all the letters, we, uh, uh, myself and three other um, producers uh, with a group of investors, have brought Baywatch back, and Baywatch will be on the air in September 1991. Yeah. All, right. all right, Pamela, any Valentine's Day thoughts? Oh, I just want to say how much I appreciate David and for always being there, even though he wasn't at the birth of the baby. <laughs> he was there at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, whatever time in the middle of the night, he was always there. And he supported me through everything, and he loves me unconditionally. That's and he right. means the world to me. That's He's my best friend. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Bill and Susan? Bill and Susan. He's the handsome hunk of the hit series Knight Rider and Baywatch. What you may not know is that he's become an international singing sensation, even invited to perform at the Berlin Wall in front of half a million adoring fans. Welcome David Hasselhoff and his beautiful wife, Pamela Bach Hasselhoff. All right. Now we'll find out how these great superstars met and fell in love the fascinating ways that they stay happily together because celebrity love stories is the focus of this edition for all that <laughs>